Hi, my name is Dan Friedman. I'm a pediatric neurologist at Dell Children's Medical Center and Dell Medical School in Austin, Texas. Today, I want to talk to you about the pediatric COVID vaccines. As always, these videos are for educational purposes only. They do not constitute medical advice. If you have specific questions about the COVID vaccines, please talk to your child's doctor. The Food and Drug Administration and the Centers for Disease Control have granted emergency use authorization for the Pfizer BioNTech vaccine uh, to prevent COVID in children aged 5 to 11. This is the first vaccine approved uh, for children this young. These children will be eligible to receive one third of the dose of the adult vaccine, separated by three weeks and two different injections. The vaccine hasn't been yet authorized for children less than five. Uh, those studies are still ongoing, and we'll have more information on that in the future. The Biden administration has promised that the vaccine will be available at pediatric clinics, uh, community health centers, children's hospitals, and pharmacies throughout the country, with 15 million doses ready to ship immediately. This is huge news. It's really incredible that for the first time in this pandemic, we have a way to protect children at this age. We know that COVID is far less likely to, to cause death in children, but uh, when compared to adults, but we know that kids can still die from this virus. There have been several hundred tragic deaths caused by COVID in children. Uh, and we know that COVID can also cause long-term symptoms in kids. And it can also worsen underlying health conditions. So for example, kids that have epilepsy may have seizures because of the illness when they get sick with COVID. And, and that's something that I worry about as a neurologist is not just the um, harm that can come from the virus itself, but making underlying health conditions worse too. And so the good news is that finally we have a way to protect kids in this age group. Um, over 3,000 kids were involved in this trial that looked at the safety and efficacy of this vaccine. We know that this vaccine works. There was a 90% reduction in symptomatic COVID uh, in the trial for the kids that had the vaccine compared to those that did not. Uh, I can also tell you from personal experience that I was in the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine trial for adults. And these are the, some of the most highly studied vaccines we've ever seen. Everything has been uh, studied in, in excruciating detail. Um, and we know from the pediatric study in this age group that there are no serious adverse events during the trial. People see, uh, you know, one of the things that people worry about is whether or not these vaccines were rushed. But we know that the, uh, every step was rigorously adhered to in the development of these vaccines. Uh, so they were expedited, but not rushed. And I think that's what has enabled us to go so quickly from vaccinating uh, adults to vaccinating children in less than a year. It's a truly incredible feat. The emergency use authorization is very exciting. I hope that we can protect a lot of children from this terrible virus. Please talk to your child's doctor uh, if you're interested or have questions about this vaccine. For more information, please see the Child Neurology Foundation website uh, or the Centers for Disease Control website. Thank you.